Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, do a quick review on the FTM300 and how to program it. We'll get started right after this. Okay, the items that come in the box, you get your owner's manual, power cable, extra fuses, clip for mounting the microphone, nuts and bolts, mounting bracket for the head unit with screw for the back, got a USB cable, most likely for programming, an extension kit, the radio body and mounting bracket, which is now a slide-on instead of having four screws, the head unit, and the microphone. The FTM300 is a 2 meter 440 radio. It will also receive 108 to 137 megahertz, the airband. Power settings are 50 watts, 25 watts, and 5 watts. Weighs about 2.43 pounds. Has real dual band operation. And all your memories can be divided into four band groups. You have memory air, memory VHF, memory UHF, and memory general, which covers 174 to 400 megahertz. Has built-in Bluetooth, wires X portable digital node if you want to use an HRI 200. Some of the other features, DigiID, group monitor, 66 channel high sensitivity GPS receiver, real-time navigation with backtrack feature. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do after you turn the radio on, you have to enter your call sign, but first things first. Get rid of that. Once you get your call sign in, push and hold the top right knob. It'll reset. You have the function setup button, a quick press, and that shows you how to enter frequencies, different functions, and APRS. Long press, get you into the main menu. You have your back button, the display button, takes you to the band scope. Squelch adjust, power on, off, lock, unlock. Group mode. This allows you to change if you want to be in FM, digital narrow, voice wide, your band select AB. You can also do that from the AB button on the microphone. You have VFO memory and memory write and your band select. You can also switch through the bands of the four that I mentioned earlier. Press and hold the function button to get to the main menu. You have your display. You can change your target location, compass, band scope, brightness. Transmit, receive. Now if you go into digital and in menu five here, this is where you turn on or off the voice wide. This is where you can change your audio, mic gain, vox, recording. That just gives you the memory list. Change your auto dialer, page code, weather alert. It says you're scanning. This gives you some more options for the group mode with your ID list. Wires X, this is if you want to hook up an HRI 200 and make a node at your house. This is where you adjust your time, repeater shift. I don't mess with anything inside data. APRS, I'll do another video on setting APRS up. The SD card, pretty much just like all the others, FTM. 400, 100, FT, 1, 2, 3, and 70. Options, you can do the $135 camera microphone, Bluetooth, voice memory. You can reset the radio, you can do a full factory reset, just the presets, your memory channel, APRS. 
you want to clone your radio, and if you need to change call sign. If you're going to group mode, just quick press it once. And if you're in the, having a QSO with somebody, you'll see their call sign pop up down here. And one of the things you can do if you want to make a somewhat private conversation with them, press and hold the GM button. And then if both of you set these codes up to 99, then you can talk to each other without being interrupted by others. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to input a repeater. Make sure you're in VFO mode, press the VFO memory button. And you can either enter the frequency with the mic or by quick pressing the function setup button and going to enter frequency. Personally, I find it faster to use the microphone. And once you get the frequency entered, you're gonna, again, quick press the function setup button. Go to function, press the button again. You can change your transmit power here. Squelch type, you wanna go to tone. Then go to tone and pick the PL code that you're gonna need. In this case, we want 103.5. And then once it's set, back out, then you're going to press and hold the memory right, go to wherever you want to store it. Now you cannot, if you wanted to store this in the high channels like the 900s, you can't go backwards, it won't let you. You have to go one direction. But what you can do is use the bottom button and that will go in increments of 10, which will make life a lot quicker and easier. We're gonna put this one in 15. Once you're there, press and hold memory right. Then switch back to memory and there you go. I didn't put a simplex one. Go to VFO. Choose the frequency you want to use. Then again, quick press the function setup button. Go into function. And since this is simplex, you're going to want to make sure that your squelch is turned off. So just keep pushing until you see off show up. Back, back out. And then again to save it, press and hold voice memory, or correction VFO memory. Go to wherever you want to store it, in this case number two. Now to add a tag, go to the one you want to write the tag for, press and hold memory write, bring it the memory, go to the where you want, go to 15. Press the top right knob, brings up this list, go to edit, go down to tag, switch to capitals, and once you have it in, press and hold the top right button, go down to OK, and OK again, and it's all set, go back to and there you have it. That's all there is for the FTM 300. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. And while you're at it, check out some of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.